Okay, so the lick for today is uh, one played uh, in the song Runaway, Runaway Train by uh, Michael E. Ferkins. It's a really cool lick. Um, it's a sweet picking lick with, uh, with a few taps here and there. Um, what you basically play is the following thing. You play a D7 arpeggio. Then you slide it into a C major triad. Slide it into a D major triad. Then you get the taps, and then you slide it to the seventh again of that D7 uh, arpeggio. So let's uh, take you through this step by step. Ring finger, tenth position, E string. Then middle finger, ninth position, A string. Index finger, seventh position of the um, D string, and then little finger. 10th position of the also D string, so like this. Now this little finger, you slide to 12th position of that D string, then you play ring finger, 11th position of the G string, then middle finger, 10th position of the B string, then index finger on the 8th uh, position of the E string, then you put your little finger in 12th position of the E string and then you slide that one to the 15th position of that E string. So like this. On the higher strings uh, it's actually a D7 here you can see this as the ninth of that D7 arpeggio, or it is already the fifth of that C, uh, or sorry, the third of that uh, C uh, major triad. Now for the uh, the sweep picking, so your right hand technique, uh, I downstroke the first three notes, so like down, down, down. The next one I play up. Make the slide, then the next three are also down, 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 down. The one with your little finger you play up, and then you get a slide. So like this. Now I'll count it in so you can play it along with me and so you have a reference for the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Now, in the next part, you can choose what you want to do. So, you can, when you arrive here, on that 15th position with your little finger on the first string, you can make a pull-off to index finger in 12th position, then middle finger 13th on the B string, then index finger 12th on the G string to ring finger on 14th of the D string. You can do it like, uh, you know, like this. Pull off and then play all down strokes, uh, sorry, up strokes. Or you have this slide and then you can play or down, up, 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 or up, 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 up. Whatever you prefer. I think when I play it, I play with a, with a pull-off, which makes it easier. So, this form that we have now, you just slide up to the 16th position with your ring finger on that D string, and you play that same form up, so, Index finger 14th on the G string, middle finger 15th on the B string, index finger 14th on the high E string, and then you make a hammer on with your little finger or ring finger, whatever you prefer, on 17th position. So like this, from, uh, from that slide here in 12th position on the high E string,
So, what do we have until now? Uh, one, two, three, four. By the way, when you, after this, you know, when we've made the slide to 16th position, then after that, of course, it's all downstrokes because we're sweeping here. Now we are here. Um, you can make the tap with your middle finger, ring finger, whatever you prefer, on 24th fret. If you only have 22, uh, you can do that too, actually. I mean, it doesn't sound bad. It's just when you play along with a CD, you know, then it doesn't sound correct, but it does work too. So uh, we've made the slide to 16th position on the D string. Made the downstrokes, hammer on, and now we get a tap, 24th fret, on the uh, E string. Then you release that, make a pull off with your little finger. So now your index finger is in 14th position, so like this. Then we make a hammer on with our middle finger in 15th position on the uh, on the E string and a tap with her left hand of her little finger like so and that is in 17th position on the B string so I don't strike that note I don't do anything for that the little finger makes that note so that's a left hand tap so after this part, you get another tap with your ring finger on a 24th fret of the E string. Release it. Then with upstrokes, you play middle finger, 15th fret, B string. Index finger is on 14th of the G string. And ring finger is on 16th of the D string. And then you make a slide to, uh, what is it, 10th position on the D string. So like this, from the tapping part, three, four. So in total, it should sound like this, three, four. And of course you have to speed that up to get to the speed of the CD. So um, I'm not sure, quite sure how fast he plays it. It's something like a... Something like that, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure. You have to check it out. But this is uh, an amazing lick by an amazing guitar player, Michael E. Perkins. Check him out and uh, I hope to see you again sometime.